Boruto has been great as of right now, at least this is what I think. The story is fun and there is a lot of twists and hype moments that keep me guessing and at the end of my seat. So yeah, I enjoy Boruto, but it's not perfect. As I would say the biggest problem for me with Boruto is how it treat Naruto, how it more or less shit on him. You know the main character of the manga, the Boruto manga is a spin-off of? Because when you read Boruto, you understand it's weird to see Naruto weak and losing to his 14 years old kid, maybe 12 even, 12 years old kid, to see Naruto not being able to stop Boruto from killing himself, being unable to protect the village or his sons from code. But instead of just saying it's bad and looking at how bad that is, as I could easily do that, I will instead trust in Boruto and think it's all part of the plan. What plan you ask? Well, that's the thing. I think I found out how Boruto could and can fit Naruto and make him strong again in a really cool way and maybe just maybe that was the plan all along but if you think there is nothing wrong with naruto power level wise think about this from the start of naruto to the end of chipuden naruto goes from a 12 years old to a 17 years old so the whole story spent a time of five years so that means that in five years naruto literally goes from a fell ninja unable to create a clone to someone that can destroy mountain with a simple tell beast bomb and that isn't even his strongest jutsu go faster than the eye can see almost fly and became the strongest ninja alive with sasuke now why do i bring all of this up well it's because naruto when he was the main character grew so much in those five years that it's baffling that as naruto is now 33 in boruto or more or less 16 years later more than three times the duration of the start of the og series to the end and that during this time frame naruto Naruto not only didn't grow stronger power wise, he actually became weaker. It's frustrating. In 16 years, he became weaker. So why not fit that? Basically, Naruto is weaker than he was at the end of Chipuden, except in Baryon mode. I think that's how you see it. Because he can't use the power of the Sith's path anymore, as he needs the five chakra nature to do so. Something he only had at the end of the war arc. And now he also lost the piece of Jubi that was inside him. He lost Kurama, bringing him back to more or less how he was power level wise when he was fighting Kurama before learning how to use the first Jubi chakra mode so the way to make naruto stronger than ever could hinge on him losing qb in the first place because think about it what would make naruto stronger than having qb inside him what could naruto gain from not being a jinshuriki anymore and not dying like it normally would do to someone if they extract a tail beast from them well a lot as instead of having one out of nine part of Jubi inside him, Naruto could just become the new Jubi Jinshuriki, like Obito was, but even better you will see. I mean there is literally a new Jubi in the manga, so Naruto could use his magic talk no jutsu and become his friend. I mean Jubi was part of a really similar monster at one point. Kurama was part of another Jubi, so if anyone can become friend with it, it's Naruto. There was always a limit to how strong Naruto could become with Kurama. There is not with the Jubi, at least not that we have seen. Also, I am talking about doing it in a well-written way, of course, not just a dumb fanfiction-esque way. But come on, you know this is too good to pass up on if well done. Plus, going back to it, Jubi always has access to the five chakra nature, so just having him inside Naruto would make it possible for him to start using the power of the Sith's path again, making him stronger than he ever was. And this would bring another layer to Naruto's arc. From a boy people only saw as a monster, into a man capable of seeing the good in a monster. The only one capable of understanding it, proving there can be good in everyone, and that no one is truly a monster from birth. Making Naruto more than a match for the Otsutsuki that could harm the earth, and he could still have access to a new Baryon mode, using the Jubi, making him basically invincible. Maybe even Goku level. He doesn't need to be. I don't care that he become god level or not. But think about it, if Kawaki isn't the villain of Boruto, and someone like a Otsutsuki god become the villain near the final arc, I think it would make sense for Naruto to become one of the strongest 
as I can. You know like Kakashi did when he gained Suzano in the final fight. It would make sense for Naruto to do something useful again at one point in the sequel show to Naruto's show in the first place, you know. Did that sentence make any sense? Uh, anyway, give him an arc. I don't know. Just make Naruto do something, like, I mean, it just makes too much sense. Naruto is the reincarnation of Ano Tsutsuki, so who better to harness the Jubi power than him? He could even awaken his full Tsutsuki power. Maybe he would have better control over it too because of it. Maybe that is the plan of the manga. Plus, doing it that way would let the manga bench Naruto for as long as it takes for Boruto and Kawaki to fight and become stronger without having Naruto interfere. To let them have cool story without having to include Naruto, but also make Naruto stronger as soon as the manga decides it's time for him to do so. It would put his story on hold, so when the time is right, it could pay off. It would be genius and justify making Naruto so weak if this is the plan. And that would be awesome, I think. I like Borto, but I grew up watching Naruto achieve his goals, so I hope his story is not quite over yet. I hope the seven Hokage still has something meaningful to teach us. So what do you think? Do you think Naruto will become strong again, or am I tripping? Tell me in the comment section below, or don't. Do whatever you want. I just want to talk about Boruto, you know? So I hope this was somewhat fun to you. Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Too many things going on I can't keep track of them all from people dropping